Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Word problem. This is uh, about solve uniform motion word problem. Let's look at the question. Solve uniform motion problem. Jason and Mike begin running in the same direction at the same time. Begin running in the same direction at the same time. Jason starts 1.20 km ahead of Mike. So let's read the question, draw a picture. So they begin running in the same direction at the same time, but Jason starts 1.20 km ahead of Mike. So Jason is 1.20 km ahead of Mike. The same direction running this way, running that way, right? In the same direction, at the same start, same time, but Jason is ahead of Mike. Jason's speed is 14.8 km per hour, we write. Jason VJ equals 14.8 km per hour, and Mike's speed is 18.8 km per hour. So Mike's is V Mike's equals 18.8 km per hour. Because Mike is speed is faster than Jason, finally Mike will catch up with Jason. That's why they ask uh, how much time does it take Mike to catch up with Jason. So for example, they finally they meet here. Okay. So how much time? How long does it take Mike to catch up Jason? And how far has Mike run at that point? So we're looking for how far this one, right? Is how far? Mike, how many distance Mike has run? And how much time that take Mike to catch up with Jason. So T, because they start at the same time, so T, J, actually you call T, Mike, we can use T, okay? Because these two start at the same time. So this question talking about Jason's speed at 14.8 km per hour or Mike's speed at 18.8 km per hour. We're assuming this is a uniform motion, actually this is the average, right? So assuming this is a uniform motion, so for uniform motion, the formula is what is the relation between distance and time and speed. So you, you can from, you from the unit, you can see that this is an hour and this is a kilometer per hour speed and distance is meter, right? Uh, it's kilometer, okay? So that's why you can see when you multiply speed, kilometer per hour, with hour, you would get kilometer. That's why the formula is D equals V times T. Use this, form, use this formula to solve this question. So for this formula, let's, read, let's write what is Jason distance, what is Mike distance. For D, Jason equals speed, which is V Jason times T, which is equal to 14.8 kilometer per hour. I, I don't put the 
uh, unit here. I just put T. I mean, this is a Jason runs 14.8 kilometer per hour time T. Also hour. And Mike has run speed multiplied time, which we call 18.8 kilometer per hour time T. What is the relation with these two distances? The relation with these two distances we can see is because Jason is ha ahead 1.20 kilometer ahead. So that's why if you only talk about the Jason, here is Jason. This is Mike. This is Jason. Run this much. And this one is 1.2 kilometer. From picture you can see the distance Mike has run can be written as the distance 1.2 plus the distance Jason has run. Right? That's why you can write the Mike distance has run equals to 1.20 kilometer plus Jason distance. So using this one and we using this expression we put into this expression. Okay? Let's have another paper. Here. Because we have, we just write the Jason equals 14.8 T and the mic distance is 18.8 T. All this is a kilometer, kilometer. Distance is kilometer, all this kilometer. And the T is hour, T is hour. So we have the relation is Mike's distance equals 1.20 kilometer plus Jason's run. And we put this one here. Put this one here. And we write 18.8 T equals 1.20 plus 14.8 right? which is the total distance Mike has run and his speed multiplied the total time and Jason run 14.8 times T they have same time start at the same time but Jason is ahead of 1.2 kilometer. So total distance is run at 1.20 kilometer, which is exactly Mike's run. Okay? Then we can solve this equation. We can move this one to the other side. Move this one to the other side. We have 18.80 minus 14.80 equal 1.20. So 18.8 minus 14.8 you got 4.0 t equals 1.20. So we divided 4.0 for both sides. We got the t equals 0 0.3 hours. So 0 0.3 hour equals how, how many minutes? Because one hour equals 60 minutes equivalent 18 minutes, right? So it doesn't matter you say 0 0.3 hours or 18 minutes because 18 minutes make more sense. And then the next day ask for how far has Mike run at that point? 
you just plug in this one. The T just go to this one to find the MIPE has run 18.8 .8 times T. But this one, the T, you has put the 0 0.3. The reason is this is a kilometer per hour has multiplied hour. So you got the answer. Uh, this is 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 24, 26, and 56, and yeah, 5 point decimal two, one two and 5.64 kilometer. Okay, we can use calculate, double check, 18.8 .8 times 0 0.3 equal 5 point 64 kilometers. So Mike has run 5.64 kilometers. So this is brought by Wise Guys. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.